Hey everybody, my name's Matt, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about this Ibanez EHB 1005 MS bass. I will be doing some tone comparisons. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to be swapping the pickups for Nordstrand Big Split 5s. Uh, but first, I kind of wanted to just touch on uh, what made me pick this bass up in the first place. The first thing that really attracted me to it was the stainless steel frets. At the price tag of around $1,000, you really don't have a lot of options that come with stainless steel frets. The next thing that attracted me to this was this beautiful roasted maple neck it's five piece neck mostly maple but it does have the two uh walnut stripes for stability and i'm up in new england um sometimes it's very hot and humid other times it's very cold and dry so i love necks like roasted maple that will stay stable and i won't have to tweak the, the truss rod uh too often so this check that box for me the body of this base is basswood uh, a lot of people might think oh you want swamp ash or you know, maybe Elder's the way to go, but uh, a lot of top guys use basswood for their bass guitars. I don't want to sit here and argue what wood is better. I'm a believer that 90%, maybe more, of your tone comes from the electronics and your fingers, or pick. Also, I love this color. It's fantastic. I love the simplicity and the classic look of the seafoam green. I'm a, yeah, I'm a sucker for simple stuff like that. Uh, I think it goes great with the, the roasted maple neck. So far, I've been playing this for a few days now, and uh, the tuning stability has been fantastic. The bridge, the locking system is great. Uh, no complaints there. I believe it's a plastic nut. I haven't had any problems with it. So now let's talk about what I don't really like about this guitar. So it's really only two things, and it's the pickups, which don't sound bad. I think it's worth noting that they don't have a lot of the spank and high end that uh, you'd expect. The other thing that I'm not so sure about is this output jack. Now it's a fantastic idea. Uh, I think I'm just not used to it yet. New, new trick, new trick output system. It's basically a locking system that you plug in your quarter inch jack and it stays in until you press this tab to pull it out. I've just had a little bit of trouble actually getting the jack out. I felt like I was pressing down way, way harder than I should have been and have been afraid I would just rip this thing right out of the socket, but I digress. So the other thing uh, I wanted to mention was why I chose this over the 1505. I didn't really like the look of the um, 1505. Yeah, I get it has the burl top and the uh, the blue finish looked okay. A bit aggressive for my taste. And then the other thing was the nine piece neck. I mean, in, in, in theory, it sounds great, right? I don't know. There's something about the, the raw feel of roasted maple that just does it for me. And I couldn't justify, this is the other thing, the price difference, which is, I believe these are 1300 ish dollars and the 1505 is 17 or 18, which it's like 500, it's a $500 difference. And you're essentially getting the same guitar with different woods, which we can argue whether or not they sound better or not in the different pickups. So uh, for me, I need to like, the, I need to like the look of the bass or guitar that I'm playing. And this just clearly did it for me. I love the color. I love the feel paying less money like i said the only thing i don't like so far is the pickups which you know i i'm gonna swap out anyways so another note if you do want to pick one of these up shop around a bit contact the stores directly because you know if you're buying through reverb or some store like that reverb is taking a chunk so reach out to actual stores the mom and pop shops that are actually selling these and uh see if you can work out a better price this particular bass was very hard to pass up because of the deal that I got at uh, c and Music Lafayette. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but uh, yeah, they did give me almost $200 off of this bass and they plucked it for free. So that's kind of hard to pass up. One quick note I wanted to mention too was I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube comparing the 1005 to the 1505 pickups, but never the two pickups in the same bass. As we've mentioned before, I'm not a firm believer that wood directly affects tone, but I figured it'd be a fun idea. Both the pickups in this same bass and see how much of a different sound we get out of it. So enough of me talking. Let's do some sound tests before and after the pickup swap. And maybe this will help you justify buying one or the other. Mm -hmm.